Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I just suddenly lost my internet connection. Welcome back to another episode of Children's Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> But yeah, I lost my internet connection. Anyway, where were we? Where, where were we before I got cut off? I need to check the weather. I'm hoping that wasn't what caused that to happen. Who do you think Shelly the Killer is? Um, who do I think he is? Wow, did I, wow, did we go back that much? Because I, okay, as I said, or I thought I was saying it, I don't know if you missed that or not because of me getting disconnected. I thought it was this guy. But... All I know that the guy, not Shelly the Killer, but just this guy called the Killer, the Killer, all I know that he did was kidnap Maya. And again, I'm not saying this is Shelly the Killer, I'm saying this is just the Killer until, until I see proof otherwise. Because even, because even Edgeworth said, I, I don't think Edgeworth said anything about knowing anything about what Shelley the Killer looks like. So, what if this is not Shelley the Killer? What if, what if he just, what if all he did? What if, as I said, what if all he did was kidnap Maya? So I will say one thing before you jump on it. Alright, I'm not jumping on anything yet anyway. is stupidly dumb and the killer is never revealed. Supposing a person to represent him doesn't work if that is what you decide to decide on. No. No, I was not going to do a person. I was definitely going to do the evidence. A piece of evidence. The real reason you set up that camera in Mr. Corita's room was it, and it's not about well, you already said it's not about a person, but it's not. Well, you said it's supposed to person to represent him doesn't work. If that's what you decide on. For at this moment, no, I was not going to just to present any person. Um, and I probably wouldn't have later either. I just assume that'll hit. That'll get. Why would he own want the camera to only record eight? eight o'clock to nine o'clock. This is all I can think of in that regard. Because should we go put the scarf? The time of death was eight fifteen. Strangled with a scarf. Which is presumably how 
she died. I mean, she strangled herself, obviously. Or presumably. Uh, and then... I don't remember how she did it. How she tried to... Attempt suicide. I don't, I don't even know if it was said. What's her suicide note here? I kind of wish we could read these two. We could read... Well, we can't even read the autopsy report either. <laughs> we can't read details on it. Why would he want the camera to only record 8 to 9? Where was the press conference? There is nothing here that says what time the press conference was. Does it? Probably has nothing to do with that anyway. At least not as far as the time period. So fill in the blank. The camera was set to record 8 to 9 because... The camera... Scarf was what caused the death. So the only thing I here's the deal I'll make. If you can explain us the reason, we'll tell you the item that shows the deal. The reason for the reason for what? Oh, you mean the reason for the item? Okay, let's see. The reason he set up the camera. I assume the autopsy is accurate as the time of death, so it can't be my initial thought that I had just now. Um, and... Shelly to kill her is. So, with that in mind, what if they wanted that card to be found? So, but they, so, the what if the idea was for this card to be found so that they would suspect it was Shelly to kill her. The only reason that didn't work is because of Adrian trying to frame Matt. If it had been for Adrian mess, um, trying to frame Matt, this would have worked. I still don't know what that has to do with the camera, unless it was Okay, I, I'm back to square one, I think. But this is the only... That's the only conclusion I can think of at the moment. Is the fact that... As I said, if... Adrian hadn't done everything she did to set up... Somehow, the f camera recorded... Someone... 
committing the act. But it couldn't have been Matt. Of course. Okay. No, back to my thought. Shelly the killer was the one who did the crime. And that was who the camera caught doing it to again because so that Matt would not be suspected at all. The only reason he was was because of what Adrian did to frame him. The only reason Matt was arrested for it was to because of what Adrian did to frame him. Of course, your silence telling me I'm way off again. But that's all that's coming to my mind right now. And I still don't know how he would have. That would have been done. Matt was. Matt was asleep at the time. According to Adrian. <laughs> well, and according to Matt as well. Right, Matt was sleeping. But was he? Because we don't know what he did once Adrian left the room. So you know it was recording him. Yes. I do know that much. That That's what I'm saying. It recorded somebody doing the act, but it was Matt. And the reason for that is so that Matt would not be would not be suspected because again the only reason he was was because of Adrian setting up the evidence to frame him the only reason he was a suspect was because of that so it recorded a killer Matt was sleeping, so you know it wasn't recording him. I'm not saying he actually was sleeping at the time, but that's what Adrian believed, and he, uh, and you know, he wasn't in the room at the time. This is a different theory you have. You haven't considered this earlier. This is a different theory you have. You haven't considered this earlier. Yeah, I know I didn't. I can't remember what all I've thought by this point. I don't remember what, what all I've considered earlier. Matt wasn't lying about sleeping, or the Cyclops would treat- Oh yeah, that's true. I, I had forgot about that. Okay, so he wasn't lying about sleeping. He was asleep. The th one thing that is still bothering me is who was watching this? Who was watching where the camera was feeding to? Or transmitting to, I should say. Focus on the question at hand. The reason the camera was set up in Corita's room. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out still. The real reason you set up that camera in Mr. Corita's room. Was it to 
about Adrian. I keep going back to... I keep going back to the idea that he knew, or that somehow he thought, somehow he wanted to catch her doing what she did, but there was no way he could have known he would have done that. Because he was genuinely surprised when he ended up getting arrested. as you said, if he wasn't, if he was lying about that, we would have gotten Cyclox earlier. If the footage of said camera was found, who would benefit, and who might suffer from it? So, so it wasn't recording Matt, it wasn't recording Adrian. Oh, fudge! I... Mm, I remember thinking earlier that... set this up. I was, I remember thinking this earlier. Probably, not even earlier tonight, like earlier in this game. Just earlier in me playing this game. So... Were they in on this together? Were Juan and the killer in on this together? Somehow. Cause... Gosh... Cause... Matt didn't... Matt could not have known... Oh no, I'm not... Yeah, no, no. Juan is dead. That is not what I am saying. I am not saying Juan is not dead. Um, yeah, pretty kind of what Ashi is saying. I'm pretty much g going with Ashi's, what Ashi is calling it. Um, cause if Juan, cause what if Juan wanted to set Matt up? Because it says right here was on bad terms with on guard. So what if he wanted, even if it cost him his life, what if he wanted something to happen to make math look bad? Because he had the costume, he had his own version of the of the Nickel Samurai costume. Why don't I spare you the trouble? This is wrong. Okay. Well. Hmm. Okay. Well. I am back to square one then. Theory is right out of Narnia. <laughs> uh, I'll take your word for that. Okay, let me think here. stuck and like I said I've only got about 25 minutes to go in my stream so I don't know what to do uh, and I'm sorry if this is frustrating you Ashi I'm Watch well, revenge goes as far as the press conference that he died before okay well then Okay, let's give her the answer. You were literally on the right track. What do you say? I don't know. You were literally on the right track. What do you say?
Okay, but that still doesn't make sense. Let me figure it, let me think. Let's play sex to the victim at the time of the murder. Well, I was, again, what I was thinking was that someone placed it there to think, make this think it was Shelly the killer. And I know, Edgeworth said Shelly the killer was this assassin. He was a, he was a murder for hire. But, and that it was Matt who hired him. But what if that's what Matt wants us to think? Well... So, there's my reason for thinking it's the card. So I'm gonna go with. I still want to go with the, what you originally said. That if I give the right reason, you tell me. I mean, you already told me it was the card, but is my reasoning correct? Okay, good enough. Right action, wrong basis for it. Okay. Well, what is... Th oh. I'm already forgetting the voice I did from now. Well, what is this card? And that wasn't it either. Oh, well. Maybe he doesn't know about this card. This is a certain man's calling card. The man's name is Shelly the Killer. And I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Shelly the Killer? Well, that's ridiculous. Well, why would I know some shitty scumbag like him? If you really don't know him, then why are you acting so jumpy all of a sudden? Um, and how do you know he's really a shady person? I mean, yeah, the name sounds shady as hell, but <laughs> that's about all you would know if you don't actually know him. Um, this is it. I finally started to get to the truth. I can't afford to make any more mistakes now. Mr. Matt On Guard, I know why you know Mr. The Killer. It's because... <laughs> what is these two answers? This is ridiculous. If anyone got this answer wrong, that would be ridiculous. What are these first and third answers? I guess maybe the you're a star part isn't too much of a stretch. Is well, actually, it is a major stretch, but not as much as this. Anyway, since you're the one who set up that camera. That means you knew. You knew exactly what was going to happen in that room. So, how? How would you know something like that? It's because you're his client. Brace for impact, everyone. That's why. You hired Shelly to kill her to assassinate Mr. Juan Corita. The real mastermind behind this whole murder is... You, Matt On Guard! <sighs> and here I was, trying to be a good boy for you, dude. Huh? I thought if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought, anyway. M Mr. On Guard, you really did hire- Hold on a sec, I'm gonna consult myself, okay? Consult himself? What the hell? Consult myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer Dude. Look out, Mars, prepare you. Dang, okay. Definitely went ex- Oh, hello. How do you- Okay! Now I gotta think up a new voice. The surfer boy- The surfer dude 
accent's not gonna cut it anymore. <laughs> Uh, I kind of wish I had Rio here right now. I'd have him do the voice he made up for Mondo and Danganronpa. <laughs> uh, for this guy, but he's not, so I'm just going to have to improvise. How do you do, Mr. Y Mr. Lawyer? I'm Matt Ongard. Liking the sudden ominous music, and I'm not even being sarcastic. I do like it. <laughs> okay, mass secret. Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it was easy to gather as much information as you have. You really. So you are Shelly the Killer's client? You didn't really. Dirty my own hands in this, did you? Well, what do you mean? And that woman, Adrian, was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crown on me, I didn't think she had it in her. But all I care about is that one is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> that that's... You're lying! What a terrible... It's way past your bedtime, little girl. Go on, let us grown ups talk about more adult things. But why? Why did you hide the video camera? No one could soon believe the words of others, just like that pathetic gauge. He knew about Miss Andrew's secret. But I'm no weakling, I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. What? Oh, come on now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the sinful deed over their heads. Yeah, that is not how Edgeworth described that guy. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the deed over And a superstar like me, how much do you think I'm worth? Care to guess? And, and that's why... Yes, that's where the video comes in. It's got his face and the crime scene recorded on it, preserved for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay, and even blackmail him if I want. That's right, that video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? I probably shouldn't be dwelling on this right now, but how the hell did he get a glass of whatever the hell he's drinking in here? Because I'm a grown-up and I can't. Good enough of an answer for you, little girl. Uh, no. It's obviously chocolate milk. Okay, fine. We'll leave it at that. you killed Mr. Karina? Besides, the way this game is localized, it probably, that probably is what they would say. <laughs> because he was about to sling so much dung onto my per beautiful public image. Scandals are a lot little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? If Mr. Karina had been able to give it, then Mr. Ongard's secret would have... Oh, well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know. I had no interest in doing it, really. But bit by bit, it crept up on me. And then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. If I'm going to do this voice through a whole trial, through a whole day of court, oh boy. Oh well. And that's, that's how Mr. Karita ended up dead. Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used. Used and thrown away. 
put on a sweet, innocent face, and the people will swallow anything you feed them. Adrian fell for it. The assassin, too. Oh, and how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. Everyone, all working their butts off for me. Matt on guard. Refreshing like a spring breeze. I guess. Aw, oh, did that leave her speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. How, how could I have been so deceived by you all this time? <sighs> when we first met, I asked if you had killed Juan Corita. And you answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. Hey, now, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that to kill her guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a cat nap in my room. You... You... You killed Mr. Corita! <laughs> I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. Aw, oh, but too bad. You can't. You're my lawyer, after all, aren't you? You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Aw, oh, but you can't, can you? That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. M Mystic Maya! You wouldn't want to test a killer. He's a man of his word, or so I hear. You could end up getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You scoundrel! So if I were you, Mr. Ryan Esquire, Esquire, I think I would give it my all tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I I'll get you for this! That's such a cliche phrase. One says something just like that if memory serves. Of course, well, we all know how well things turn out for him, don't we? Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya. Maya, what am I supposed to do? And now... Now you've finally found it. Now you've finally found it. Oh, it's Edgeworth. Okay. The starting line of this case. Edgeworth. I don't care for the horrid atmosphere here. Let's return to the precinct. Good idea. March 22nd, police station. Criminal Affairs Department. Well, right. What are you going to do? If you plan on changing your strategy. No! no! We can't do that! That's right. He's holding Maya hostage. What? What should I do? That's not something I can answer for you. M Mr. Ashworth! Right, only you can decide where to go from here. One year ago, at that time, I didn't truly understand what a prosecutor was. And that is why I had to leave the prosecutor's... Excuse me, the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, right, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can... One. You must find the answer. You must find it on your own. And this is what... And this is what Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death meant. Right. Matt on guard. I'm a lawyer, but to fight for someone who is clearly a killer... Matt on guard. That man is really... Ugh! It doesn't matter who. Every person this is a proper defense and a fair trial. This is not the basis of our judicial system. Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is, is it where a lawyer forcibly and blindly gets an acquittal through shouting and trickery? Ugh, ironic that you of all people should say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you have fought for your clients up until now? Ugh! Well, that may be true, but... But that's... That's because I believe my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But if I were to get on guard and acquittal, that... That isn't a proper defense at all. I'd be 
became a lawyer because I thought... I thought I could save people who were suffering and in pain. But when I look at this mess we're in, I can't even protect the person closest to me. Even if I win the case, I still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do! Right, would you get a hold of yourself? You have it all wrong. Huh? We aren't some sort of heroes. We're only human, you and I. You want to save someone? That's something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? Defense? You are a defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. That's all you can do. People like you and Francisco on Karma are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end, even when you know the truth is not with you. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict. For a man I clearly know to be guilty. Francisca, she fights for herself. The only thing she fights for is her perfect win record. That's all, which we've kind of already wrecked, but okay. And? Isn't that the same as you? Well, yeah, the old hip. Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed? You were so petty! I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. However, you are mistaken. What do you think to you when you sealed off my path to a perfect win record? I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect record were meaningless. What? I don't believe you. Are you saying that is why you left the prosecutor's office? But then, why? Why are you here now? The answer to that something you will find out on your own. I have faith you will see it before the verdict is read tomorrow. But if you can't, then you will be powerless to change the ending of the story. M Mr. Nick, the transceiver! I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Now then, Mr. Attorney, do you wager you can obtain an acquittal tomorrow? My, my, what is the matter, Mr. Attorney? I don't sit so neutral anger this time. Tell me, please. Why are you holding Maya hostage for Mr. Ongard's sake? Why are you... Why are you doing this for that cold-blooded killer? Right. Please don't misunderstand this. He is my client. Don't toy with me! A man who hires an assassin is just as much of a killer himself! I believe you're asking me for a reason as to why I'm doing what I am. Yeah. This is what I like to call my aftercare. What the heck is aftercare? My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity, Mr. Attorney. I take great care to ensure that no suspicion falls upon my clients for my handiwork. That is what is called client relations, and it is a part of an assassin's duty. Assassin's duty? We were unlucky this time, and my client was arrested as a suspect. As a result, I did what I had to do to enlist your expert help, Mr. Attorney. And to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. What is your name? I believe I told you once before, however... You did, but... My name is... The Killer. Shelly the Killer. You're Shelly the Killer. Please keep in mind, you do not have much space to maneuver with me. As a the Killer, I always finish what I set out to do. If you fail to keep up your end of the bargain... M maya It would be my duty as an assassin to see to it she receives a nice, long 
Kitty, the kitty kind of killed the mood. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I didn't have to voice him anymore after that. <laughs> I don't know if I could. <laughs> anyway, beep. Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. I, I don't know what to say. Edgeworth. Did you hear that? At the end of that transmission? Yeah. I kinda hard to miss. Uh oh, oh, that. It sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be! That cat, can it? What is it? Oh come on, Pearl, you remember the kitty. I think I know where Shelly the killer is holding Maya hostage! Edgeworth, have all police units head for on guard mansion immediately! You hurry over as well, then. Don't lose hope yet, Pearls. The fight has only just begun. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh... It's three minutes till nine, so I think... As much as I hate to leave it at this, I think this is gonna be a good place to end the stream for the night. So... I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream, and... I will try to be back tomorrow night. Yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this as my stopping point for the night, and I, again, I hopefully I will be back tomorrow to continue this. Aren't you glad you made? Aren't you glad we made you work your way through the on guard psycho locks? Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. Okay, over at the selected. Yes. And. The reason I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow is because of the weather that's in the forecast. But I am hoping that I will be. Because the truth is, I really want to be able to finish this game before Thursday, if possible. Because that is when Saga Frontier Remaster comes out. And by this game, I mean the second game, not the whole trilogy. I know I won't be able to do that. <laughs> So, um, anyway, thanks for tuning in tonight, and again, I will try to be back tomorrow. I just don't know what's going to happen this week because of the weather. Um, odds are, are even Thursday may not be good for streaming, no matter what happens. I will say this, Trial Day 2 is perfectly written. Okay, sounds good. So, again, um, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Um, I'm sorry for the... Sorry for the stream cutting out for a little bit before. I don't know if it was the weather that caused that or not, because we don't have actually storms here yet, but we do have rain on the way, so I don't know what... We did have rain on the way at the time, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. Anyway, I am going to drop a host. I think it was... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take your word on that. Let's see. Remember, I haven't played Overwatch, so I don't know anything about any of those characters. Uh, anyway, who am I going to host tonight? Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, Futaba would have could have also been a fair fair guess. <laughs> okay, let's see. You know what, let's drop a host with... Actually, let's drop a host with Arl Richie, who is playing Pokemon Crystal. So, that's who we'll, who we'll host tonight, and... Again, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream, and sorry for all the times I got upset tonight, too. 
I just really get frustrated with this sometimes. Um, because I feel like I have to figure it out quickly, but no, I just need to learn. I do need to take my time and think things through so that I don't mess myself up <laughs> so much. So that's just something I'm going to have to learn with these games. <laughs> so, anyway, I, again, I hopefully I will see you tomorrow night. If not, I don't know when I'll be on again. Uh, you'll just have to ho hope for a day to be clear of bad weather. <laughs> so anyway, I will, um, whatever happens, I hope you have a good night, and I will see you next time. Have a good night, and take care, everyone. Bye.